Timor-Leste is a half-island nation in the eastern part of Timor, which lies to the east of the Indonesian archipelago in Southeast Asia. Being an island nation, it relies heavily on groundwater as a source of drinking water and for industrial and agricultural activities. However, an increasing population and changing climate are placing these valuable water sources at risk and could impact on the country's ability to develop and grow. Groundwater, as the name suggests, is water stored under the ground. When the rain falls, the water falls over the surface and goes into rivers and lakes in the ocean. But some of this water goes into the ground, into pores and into the cracks, forming groundwater resources. This also then flows into rivers and lakes in the ocean, completing the water cycle. Luke Wallace from Geoscience Australia is the lead researcher of a project in Timor that sought to provide the local government and its people with the tools and skills they require to assess, monitor and manage groundwater resources in a changing climate. The project was part of Australia's $12 million Pacific Adaptation Strategy Assistance Program. Climate change projections over the next 50 to 100 years are predicting higher sea levels, higher temperatures and also more unpredictable extreme weather events. These combined with population growth are likely to change the quality and the quantity of Timor's water resources. So we worked with a number of Australian and East Timorese agencies to look at the vulnerability of groundwater to climate change and the adaptive capacity to these changes. We did a detailed analysis but also trained East Timorese staff to do the monitoring, mapping and analysis so that they could reproduce the hydrogeological map which was the first for the country. One of the local government agencies that received training from Luke and his team was the Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Program, known as BESIC. The great thing about uh, hydrogeological maps is that it tells us where water is uh, in relation to the geology of the landscape. Uh, so it can tell us um, potentially the, the yield of a groundwater system and the location. Um, so therefore we can also establish our monitoring networks um, uh, based upon this information. Craig is training local government staff like Osario Bello de Piedade to monitor water supplies in Dili. For the Comoro B wells, we are monitoring for the water level and also water quality. Uh, we use uh, some of the, our uh, measurement uh, for equipment to measure the water level and uh, also water, uh, you know, water quality. Tamba halamunization ba bene bere ecos impact on sa dalaruma sa bene bele tempo udan bele nivele fuer o bene nivele mos se bailoro dalaruma bene bele tunlio. With groundwater being under the ground, um, that makes it very difficult to monitor. Um, you can't see it, you can't uh, measure those changes uh, easily on a day-to-day -day or weekly basis. So you need infrastructure such as these pumps and regular monitoring regimes to uh, monitor and manage the water um, for the community, uh, for domestic and industrial water supplies. Having a sound understanding of water resources, we've been able to really increase access to people all year round, but also to look at how we actually really can sustain those water resources that exist, particularly with population increases and then for other uses apart from household water. The project found that projected changes in rainfall patterns, including prolonged dry seasons and sea level rise, are the main climate change impacts likely to affect groundwater supplies. As sea levels increase with climate change, Coastal aquifers, such as the large aquifer that provides Dili's water supplies, are likely to be the most vulnerable. As of 2010, the population of Timor-Leste was 1.1 million. This number is projected to increase to 3 million by 2050, with much of the growth in urban areas. This increase, coupled with the projected impacts of climate change, is expected to affect the quality and quantity of the country's groundwater. The government of Timor Leste is currently in the process of um, developing both the uh, uh, policy for water resources management and, and a legislative framework for water resources management. So that has gone through a consultative process and is now in a final draft stage ready for approval by Council of Ministers. This uh, 
study that uh, support by Department of uh, Climate Change and also support by outside, especially to uh, water sector uh, and uh, also for especially for the Directorate uh, Water Resource Management. I think it's uh, one of the best uh, program that uh, we form government we must support uh, to identify our uh, groundwater resource.